Hey guys, got a quick new material I've been playing around with that I thought I'd share with you. If you've got the EV Plus Cycles material system, it'll just show up in the Google Drive. But for Patreon members, you guys can just grab it on Patreon. So let me show you what it is. First, let's go into here and we'll just grab, it's called CW Procedural Dots. So I'm going to add that material and then I'm going to just apply it to, copy it to this one. Whoops, there. And now we have this and let's crack down the saturation a little bit. See it a little better. Here we go. And so let's talk about this a little bit. Let's make it a little darker too. Okay. Here's the basic material and it's basically like Pirelli dots, but what it is, it's an actual group that you can do a lot of different things with, right? So first of all, you can change the dot size and you can change the amount of blur on the dot. And what that means when you change that, it's going to give you a little bit more of a, an edge there. If you're using bump maps or displacement maps, you can invert it so that it goes the opposite direction. And you can, of course, scale it too. So if you want to change the scale of, of, of everything, once you've got it laid out, you can scale it right here. Also, if you're looking at top view, you can rotate maybe about the Z, say 45, and that kind of staggers it, as you can see, and you can rotate about the others also. So that's, that's basically what I'm doing here with just a, plugging this FAC into the bump. But let's talk about some other things you can do with it. Let's take this material real quick, and we're going to basically allow it to be transparent. So let's just go into the viewport display and we're going to say blend mode to alpha blend and then shift a and we're going to grab a transparent shader stick it up here let's uh, let's join these two create a mix shader out of these two okay so and then we can just take this and i'm going to i'll delete that and what i can do is i can put this fac into this area and now this is transparent right and and we might want to make the blur size zero let's go into my world and i'm going to yeah, there we go. So we can see that, see the background a little bit better. So you can see that does a nice job of cutting holes out. So you can use it as a factor to do other things, to create different things. So if you want to, for instance, create an emissive with an existing material. So let's do that. Let's just go in here and let's make this one concrete material. So here's concrete. And then let's put some emissive dots on it. So we'll go in here and we'll right click and add a group. And we're going to look for that procedural dots group. There it is. And then shift A, we're going to add a emissive shader right here. Grab these like this. And now we can see that that's what it looks like on. That's what it's off. Let's, let's, let's make this something, a different color. Let's make them like orange or something like this. Okay. And maybe three, give it bright. And now I just grab the same dots over here and I can plug that into the fact. And I need to adjust the dot size a little bit, but you see now I've got these emissive shaders and the blur, if I want to make it look like it's blurring a little bit, I can do that as well. So I can jump that up. I can invert it. So I have the opposite going on if I want. And of course I've got the scale features and the rotation and everything else. You can see how this can be a valuable little tool. And like I said, it's going to be free to the Patreon members. And it's also going to be uh, a free update to those that have EV plus cycles. So. Anyway, hope you enjoy it. And if you want to check it out, uh, by the way, let's take a look at that. But let's just go into here and tab into this and just see how it's a pretty simple thing. We're using a Renoir texture Euclidean with no random. And that gives us the, the basic dots. We use texture coordinates object and we have a rotation separating that vector to X, Y, Z. We're using the scale of Renoir right there. And then we've got this the size and blur. And basically a lot of the map range stuff here is to make sure that we get things so that they work easily. In other words, so that we can adjust the size and then the blur gets adjusted based on the size. So we have a couple map ranges to help do that. And then at the end, we have the invert color. So anyway, hope this is interesting you all and uh, we'll see you online. Thanks. Bye.